Hey, good morning, everyone. Sunday morning. And uh, remember last week we talked about um, about uh, why God is silent when when we're when we're suffering and hurting. And uh, well, sanctification sanctification is a thousand dollar or million dollar word that means growth through suffering and uh, <clears throat> growth of our faith. That is, and uh, it, it's God's intent to use pain and suffering and hardship in our lives to strengthen us, to give us wisdom, teach us humility, and to uh, generally purify us and make us, remake us into the image of Jesus. And that's the process of sanctification. What you say, uh, wait wait a minute, what's this got to do with me? I I don't, I don't believe in God. I don't believe in Jesus or accept any of that, that foolishness. (laughs) And uh, well, I tell you, it, it doesn't matter. God is still working in your life he's still working to sanctify you through pain and suffering now he's not bringing the pain to you uh you know we as human beings do a really good job of bringing pain to ourselves by making poor decisions and uh and then just being alive you have pain because of of loved ones suffering and and um and uh (coughs) illnesses and and uh financial hardships and and all that sort of thing but um you know for example uh, ten years ago, my father passed away. Suddenly, he died of a heart attack, dropped dead uh, uh, unexpectedly when I was away on a business trip, and I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him. It was, it was devastating. And then two years later, my mother died of a broken heart. She just couldn't go on without having uh, my father around because they'd been married for 70 years. Then a year later, my brother, my younger brother, committed suicide. He had been suffering from a depression that he, he never shared with anyone and, and uh, kept hidden, and, and he just he just finally gave up. And then um, it was shortly after that that my, my wife was diagnosed with, with cancer, and uh, we went through the pain and suffering of that, her physical pain and my emotional suffering. And then, and then our son, um, had a, a breakdown, uh, uh, mental illness and uh, drug addiction and, and alcoholism and ended up going to a, a state mental hospital, you know. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> went ba- went from bad to worse and eventually I just couldn't take it anymore and, and I realized that I couldn't do anything about any of this stuff so I turned it all over to God and the, and the relief was palpable and it was immediate. And, uh, you know, <clears throat> God says, For I know the plans that I have for you, plans to, for your welfare and, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. And, uh, and that's what happens when you give your life to him. God bless you.